Hey guys, T in here. Here is a beginner's tutorial going over five things you need to know before getting into kite surfing. So the number one thing that people usually ask is how can I learn, where can I learn, and how long will it take me to learn how to kite surf? And yes, you can teach yourself. I actually have a full beginner's tutorial taking you through the A to Z process on how to learn how to kite surf, but I definitely recommend going to a well-known kite spot and getting kite lessons. This way, the instructors will take you through that process step-by-step step to ensure that you learn how to kite surf as quickly as possible and as safely as possible. Then the second half of that question, how quickly will it take me to learn how to kite surf? That's completely dependent on the individual. Generally speaking, people with skills in board sports already generally will learn faster, but generally speaking, it will take roughly about 20 to 30 hours to learn how to kite surf if you've never kited before. Then the second point to mention there, following on from the first point specifically for beginners is don't rush the learning process. If you rush the learning process and start start skipping steps in that learning process. Kite surfing can become extremely dangerous. And obviously the goal of kite surfing is to have fun. So take it slow, take it steadily and learn methodically, slowly and steadily to ensure that you learn as quickly as possible while also being as safe as possible. Then the third question that I usually get asked is how and where do I get my gear from? Now, if you don't live in a well-known kite spot, it can be quite difficult to get your hands on a set of kite surfing gear. So I'd recommend either traveling to a well-known kite spot to buy your gear and to learn, or you can obviously buy your gear online, but I highly recommend against that if you don't really know what you're buying and what you're getting into. Another point to add on there is the gear is very expensive. So if you are looking at secondhand gear, Facebook Marketplace is a very good starting point for secondhand gear. Then the fourth point I wanted to mention was getting into the kiting community. So a lot of people think the kiting community is quite closed, like the surfing community, but the kiters are generally very friendly because you know kite surfing being an extreme sport, you need other people around to ensure that everyone can have fun and be safe at the same time. So generally the kiting communities are very open. So I'd highly recommend going down to your local beach, chatting to a couple of guys, you know, getting them to add you to WhatsApp groups, etc. And that's also a good way to learn and, you know, get advice on buying gear, gear sizes, etc. from other guys who obviously know what they're doing. Then point number five is, is learning to kite surf worth it? Is it worth the time? Is it worth the money? Is it worth the energy? I definitely say yes, it can be quite a lengthy process to learn, but it's a completely unique sport. It really is a fantastic sport. It kind of pulls from multiple different sports in terms of the characteristics of the sport, making it completely unique to anything I've ever done in the past. So as a beginner, I definitely recommend sticking it out and I can almost guarantee you that it'll be worth it. So that was it for today. Hopefully that was a help. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the water. Bye for now.